Yeah, that, that, that was my, that was some kind of bestseller for the for the Monday note in the year 2020. Yeah. Um, although it's a free product, so there is no bestseller, unfortunately. I'm not very good at making money. Um, no, I mean, I think it's a valid question, and I think that honestly, platforms. Um, although I harbor different views uh, from my peers in the news media industry when it comes to platforms and GAFA and stuff, I'm much less hysterical than, they, um, than many of them are. But I think that platforms are in some denial when it comes to the damages they have done to the industry. I would say that they did not do any damages intentionally. They did not wake up one day and say, okay, we are going to wipe out the news industry and we're going to capture whatever, whatever they want. It was more, much more a consequence, a consequence of what they have been building. What they did is that these companies, Google, Facebook, and so on, and including Amazon, which is now a huge player in the advertising industry, they build incredibly performing advertising machines. Suddenly, when they came into play, we came from an era in which, as um, the former businessman of the 19th century, John Wanamaker said, um, I, I invest in newspaper, uh, I do some ad in this newspaper, I know that half of them is working, but I don't know which half. Um, suddenly, those people came with a very precise notion of who was um, benefiting from their ads, what could be the fair price, and so on and so forth. So they built an incredibly granular machine in which they were able to target and to measure advertising, which is the up, which was the opposite of what we have been doing in the newspaper industry for uh, two centuries. So that was the real change, and that was we got that into our face without measuring what was what was going to be the uh, the impact uh, of it suddenly advertisers brands uh, the commercial sphere was able to measure uh, the potential of an advertising which was a thing that the newspaper industry was never able to 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 provide to the advertiser that's point number one point number two in this process we realized that at making an advertisement in newspapers in news organization by and large was hugely expensive compared to the benefit that the advertisers were, were getting. So suddenly we realized that whether it is in terms of GDP, whether it is of, uh, in terms of, of, uh, of fair price uh, and so on, we realized that uh, advertising in a news organization was indeed very expensive compared to this platforms had to offer. So what ensued is a very steep deflation in the price of advertising, which proved to be extremely damageable for the news industry. And the other leg of it is the uh, shift from the reader um, in which they were having some kind of uh, trusted relationship with, with news brand to an era in which there is a huge dilution of the news brand in the whole noise, in the whole maelstrom of, uh, of, uh, of news, uh, of stuff which is available on social media and, and things. So combined with that, we had an incredible, yes, damage which has been made to the news industry. 